everybody! Welcome to day four. I'm Casey and this week we are working on a $25 budget for our dinners. We are a family of four. If you have not seen days one through three, I will try to remember to link them below. If you go to day one of this week, you can see what, what all we started out with. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what we're going to be needing today. We're going to be making a pizza and a salad. The salad is the same salad as we had two nights ago. But when you're working on a budget, you can't quite have all the variety that you would like. So let me show you what we got for today. All right, this is what we're using. The ingredients that we are using today, as you can see in the very back, is the flour. If you remember yesterday, I told you that I started pulling the flour out to make sure I had enough. So this is the three cups that is designated for the pizza crust, and I have that little bit of leftover in the bag. I also have set aside three cups of flour for tomorrow's dinner as well. And then we have our ingredients for the salad. We have the yeast for the pizza crust. We're going to be using approximately two thirds of this uh, mozzarella block. Uh, there's butter if we need butter, margarine, and we are using two of the beef patties. There is one left for tomorrow, and then we'll have the ham for tomorrow as well. And then in here we have the four ounces of tomato paste that we had saved from the cans. It was two tablespoons from each can that we had saved. And here are those little tomato ends that I said I was saving. We're going to end up putting those into the pizza First sauce. Step, we are going to make the pizza crust. So we will need one cup of very warm water, half a teaspoon of salt, the yeast packet, and two melted tablespoons of margarine. Give that a little stir. All right, and now we're going to be adding the flour. Okay, so we have designated three cups of flour for this pizza crust, but I'm going to start by putting in about two. Now I only have about a quarter of a cup left. So this is, now in here is two and three fourths cup of flour. All right, I think that is perfect. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna stir this just for about a minute or two, all right? It doesn't have to be a lot. And then we're gonna let it rest for 20 minutes. It's time to prepare the salad. This is the same salad as we had on day two because it's part of the ingredients that we have for this week. It'll be the last of the cucumber that we have left. All right, so we're gonna chop up the cucumber, add the carrots in, oh, you can't even see the carrots put the tomato in and most of the iceberg lettuce, I'm gonna save just a few larger leaves in case I want to use them for tomorrow's meal. to save these larger four outer leaves for tomorrow. I have the iceberg lettuce rinsed. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it in my little spinner bowl so I can toss everything in there. I figure it'll be a little more even than just putting it into the bowl. And also I think I'm gonna go ahead and in fact, I don't know why I'm saying I think I am going to go ahead and make these carrots just a little smaller because they were a little bit large 
in the other side. Next, we're going to cut off a big chunk of this cheese. Uh, save about a fourth of it for tomorrow, but the rest we can use. In fact, if we don't end up using all of it on the pizza today, then we'll just put it in the fridge, whatever we don't use. But that we need for tomorrow. The pizza dough has bubbled nicely. We are going to move over to my dining room table because it's a little bit bigger and we're going to go ahead and roll it out there. For this pizza you will need either one very large pizza dish. As you can see it takes up quite a bit of the burners or you can use a cookie sheet. A cookie sheet's fine too. I'm going to, I melted some of the margarine and I'm going to go ahead and put it all around. I can guarantee you I'm probably going to need all this flour. This is still from that bag. And I brought over the rest of the flour from here, which is, I think we said about three-fourths of a cup if we need it. I'm going to roll this dough out, just roll it out into a huge, very huge uh, circle. Or if you're using a cookie sheet rectangle, I'm going to put this, I'm going to go ahead and put you on a time lapse because... I have a feeling I'm going to be frustrated while I'm trying to roll this thing out, especially with my limited amount of flour. I'm just pausing the time lapse to say, you know what, this dough is turning out to be quite a mess, but we're gonna go with it. I think that in the end, it will still end up tasting really good. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't turn out the way you hope, aesthetically, and you just gotta hope it turns out the way your taste buds hope. And that's what we're gonna do. I am just a home cook. I'm not a professional. I come up with ideas you can come up with ideas and you're just gonna I don't know if you can see where I'm working you can okay you're just gonna make sure that there's no holes and you know we just need a little bit of extra crust here so we're gonna take it from the edge and needle them with more flour if you have more flour I encourage you to use more flour and you won't have this problem, but I am very, very determined to stick with the flour that we are allotted, you know, that I bought with our budget money. And so that's where a lot of this is going, that I'm trying to be so conservative with the flour. I've chopped up the rest of the tomato bits that were in this little bowl and we're going to add that to a saucepan. Along with the tomato paste that is in this small container. And we will also now be adding one and one fourth cups of water. What we are making is a pizza sauce. All right, so now we're going to add in some salt and pepper. That's the pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. Um, just be be careful because you know with these spices you can always add more later but you you can't take any out and as always I'm going to say get in your cabinet and if you have some spices or herbs that you would like to use put them in there I'm gonna let that come to a boil and then we're gonna let it simmer uh, I would make sure you let it simmer for at least half an hour 
It's now time to cook up these beef patties. The meat is nicely browned. The sauce is simmering nicely. At this point, I'm gonna take this pizza crust and put it in the oven for at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. I just wanted to give you guys an update on this crust. Do you remember it had all that thin dough and spots? It's looking really fantastic. Okay, it's time to take this thing out. It's been about 10 minutes. So now on this crust, I'm gonna take some of the melted margarine. If you don't have any left, just go ahead and melt some. And I'm gonna cover the pizza with the melted margarine. So here is how our sauce turned out. I just gave it a taste and it is actually pretty good. the ground beef on the pizza. put it in the oven. All right, the oven is set for 375. We're gonna get it in there. I'm gonna put it in the middle. Um, we actually have a little more trouble with the bottom getting crispy than the top, so I'm putting it in the middle of my oven and it will be in there for about 15 minutes. But just keep an eye on it. Check it every now and then. Everyone's oven's different. But when I put them in, they definitely are in for a good 15 minutes. The pizza's done. It looks fantastic. Sounds fantastic, too. Some days, can't put it on a serving plate. And that's where we're at today. <laughs> we got things to do, so we're eating and running. We have our pizza. It'll be enough for everyone to have two slices if they want two slices. If not, then just have one. And then our salad. All right, you guys. We are headed out, so I will try to film an outro a little bit later. See you next time. Hey, you guys. I'm back from our little outing. I wanted to let you know that we devoured that pizza before we went. Everybody had two slices. We were full, but definitely no leftovers. And we had some salad. Well... I have some stuff.